Muslims all over the world are observing 30 days of fasting and prayers which is one of the basic requirements of Islam. A woman is challenging the status quo in Tamale, Ghana by delivering sermons. A woman has challenged the norm by leading a Muslim congregation in Tamale, in the northern region of Ghana. In conservative Muslim communities, women are not allowed to lead congregations or even deliver sermons. But this woman defied the odds to deliver a sermon at a Tamale mosque. Related slideshow, Ramadan 2019, provided by Photo Services. During Ramadan, the holiest month in the Islamic calendar, Muslims around the world abstain from eating, drinking and smoking from sunrise to sunset. Pictured, Muslims pray in the Moscow Cathedral Mosque on May 23. People gather for a free public iftar meal during Ramadan at the Kadimia neighborhood, on May 23. Palestinian musicians perform to celebrate the breaking of the fast on May 23. Burqa-clad women sit as they receive aid items via charity, on May 23. Muslims pray in the Moscow Cathedral Mosque in the Russian capital on May 23. Men distribute food for people who gathered for a free public iftar meal, on May 23. Muslims pray before breaking their fast at the compound of Harun Mosque, on May 22. Residents of Izib at Hamada gather to eat iftar on May 20. A Kashmiri Muslim man reads the Quran inside the shrine of Mir Syed Ali Hamdani, a Sufi saint, on May 20. Immigrants from Bangladesh pray during iftar on May 19. Palestinians break their fast by eating the iftar meals during the holy month of Ramadan, near the rubble of a building recently destroyed by Israeli air strikes, on May 18. A boy prepares to distribute the iftar meal inside the shrine of Muslim Sufi Saint Nizamuddin Alia on May 16. Muslims attend Friday prayers at Istiqwal Al Mosque on May 10. Worshippers read the Quran at the Imam Ali Mosque on May 9. A man arrives to offer a prayer at the Federal Territory Mosque on May 9. Worshippers read the Quran at the Imam Ali Mosque on May 9. Kashmiri Muslims offer prayers on May 7. According to her, she wants to empower women with knowledge throughout her teachings. My mission is simple. The reason I am teaching my fellow women is that I know the Quran and I want to empower them with knowledge. I have learned the Quran and there is no need keeping it to myself when I can teach other women to also know what their religion says about women. She said, one of the women who attends her sermons, Aishyatu Adams, says she teaches them to be women of substance valor. She teaches us how to humble ourselves. If you are too proud and disrespectful, here, she will teach you that there is a day you will die. If fighting is your habit, she will let you know. It is bad. If you are financing conflict by buying weapons to supply fighters, when you come here, she will ask you to stop it, Adams noted. But Imam Mustafa does not support and encourage a woman leading prayers or sermon. He opined that the woman preacher is overstepping her bounds. It is not allowed for a woman to teach in public let alone leading the prayer. It is against religion. She can only guide her colleague women not read the law. He added that the woman's body is attractive. That is why they are not allowed to mix with men for prayers. Muslims all over the world are observing 30 days of fasting and prayers which is one of the basic requirements of Islam. During the period they offer prayers for blessings for their families, communities in the country.